Okay, I guess I'm gonna go. <laughs> Hi. Hi, ladies. Thanks, Mary and Mary for joining tonight. Uh, my name is Mary too. So this is kind of fun. <laughs> I've never been in a Zoom with just mostly Marys. So, um, but my name is Mary McCallum and I am a sparkle girl. <laughs> um, I help women sparkle inside and out. That's really where my heart's passion is at. And um, tonight I'm going to be showing you some amazing, beautiful pieces. Um, but I really want to make this time about you, about your taste, about your style. And so in my Facebook poll that I put in the messenger group, um, I did a little, a couple of questions, one about your face shape and a one, you know, about your style taste, you know, do you like layers? Do you like simple? Um, do you like statement? Because when I work with other ladies and, and help them create something that they feel good about, I want to know those things about them because it's more than just me selling you a piece of jewelry. It's me getting to know you and actually becoming your go-to girl with, you know, style questions as far as accessories and jewelry goes. I do um, represent Touchstone Crystal, which is a division of the Swarovski Crystal Company. Uh, you may you probably know about them. They're very international for 126 years ago or now. And so, um, but yeah, really at the heart of my business is just helping you sparkle like I said, from the inside out. So um, we're going to dive into some of this jewelry here. I'm going to start with showing some looks based on face shapes. And I'm just going to touch on the ones where the people answered <laughs> for tonight um, and then dive into some gift giving suggestions too. But let me give you a little bit of history about our company and where the long legacy and heritage that we stem from. And so this is an example of the necklace where, let me give a moment. There we go. Now we got the focus. Um, yes, this is called the Everlasting Necklace. And this is what every woman jewels over <laughs> almost every time they see it. But this is how, basically how Swarovski began 126 years ago. Daniel Swarovski came into a gala. He saw a woman wearing that string of diamonds and he noticed how it transformed her. It changed her. She felt beautiful. So it was obvious she felt like a million bucks. And right then and there, he decided he was going to create a diamond that every woman could afford because he wanted every woman to feel that way. And so we've got that long heritage of that being the main drive and push at Swarovski Crystal. Another fun side note to know about Daniel Swarovski is he did a lot of collaboration with a lot of high-end designers, uh, Coco Chanel being one of them. We have a necklace named the Chanel, uh, which our friend, wonderful Morrison <laughs> was excited to see. Um, as well as Christian Dior, he influenced um, this overlay on top of crystals. You see it everywhere. It's called Aurora Boreal. That inspiration came from Christian Dior visiting the Northern Lights up in Alaska and coming back in 1955, um, asking Daniel Swarovski to release this, this particular style of crystal so that it would remind people of the Aurora Borealis. So that's kind of a fun little history. Um, I'm going to bring you up a little bit more current. Now, uh, Swarovski price points, <laughs> some of you probably know, have really increased. <laughs> significantly. And I am here to tell you, uh, they're now going to be pushing those price points even more. They're going at the very hot, they're going for a high-end luxury customer now. So we're talking around $400, you know, average price points, 200 beyond the low end. So there's a little bit of market information for you. <laughs> um, but we were born uh, maybe 10 years ago. Sometimes I've lost track with all the pandemic stuff, but <laughs> it's kind of a blur sometimes. I think it's 10 years ago. Um, Touchstone Crystal, we were born um, out of the desire of Swarovski Crystal, the big company, to make Swarovski Crystal affordable for the everyday woman. They knew their market had, you know, price point had risen. And so Daniel Swarovski's great grandson, Dan Cohen, uh, began Touchstone Crystal as a way to bring the diamond look to the women of today and everyday looks that are not necessarily just the fancy fancy. Um, we have styles that can hit, you know, people like the teeny simple all the way up to the glamour girls. You know, we've kind of got all the bases covered and everything from little, little teeny to 
your, you know, your layers, Karen, I know pulled that she lo loves layers to your earrings to gorgeous arm parties. Really, we have something for everyone. And that's been Swarovski, the heart of what they wanting wanting us to offer because we are a division of the Swarovski crystal family. So there you go. There's a little bit of history of us. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a cheat sheet that I'm more than willing to share with you ladies. Um, if you'd like me to send you a freebie, <laughs> here's one of my freebies to send to you. So it can help you accessorize to your face shape. I find it's really extremely helpful because when women are jewelry shopping, oftentimes they don't know why a certain pair of earrings doesn't look good on their face shape and, and it's confusing. And sometimes they'll buy it anyways and they'll get home and they'll go like, oh, it just doesn't look right. You know, so then there's that instant buyer's remorse. And honestly, that's the last thing I want for you. <laughs> when you when you are working with me and I am your, your girl, I want you happy and satisfied with everything. And so I think it's really important to know your face shape so you are accessorizing accordingly. <laughs> All right, so let me begin. And as I go and I'm showing you these looks, I'm also gonna talk a little bit about um, how, what our jewelry is made of, what, you know, the crystal, the qualities of the jewelry, the versatility. So I'm just going to be sprinkling that just along the way. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about is the round face shape. So I think, was it Mary that, did you, Mary? No, it wasn't. Okay. Oh, Karen, sorry. <laughs> I know I really should have it open right here. Uh, I actually just hopped off of Wonderful Morrison's incubator class. So <laughs> it's just sort of jumping from one to the next. <laughs> Anyways, so, okay. So I will tackle the round face shapes. That's a fairly common face shape for a lot of women. Round is more where your face shape is going this way. You've got more of the curved edging, softer jaw lines, um, not length or strength. Um, so round is more like this. So you think that um, right away, I want to tell you, don't wear round earrings, the earrings that face forward that are round. You give, I call it the Mickey Mouse effect. You see what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, little ones are going to be fine. Don't toss out your studs, things like that. You're good with that. But any earrings, now these are oval and these would be fine. But any earrings that are forward facing that are round, disc-like, um, remember back in the day where we had the button size earrings, <laughs> I don't know, eighties or something like that. Yeah. Round face shape. Do not go that direction. You're just going to emphasize the circleness of your face. What is recommended for round face shapes are oblong rectangular type of earrings, because what it does is it brings length to your face because round faces tend to be a little bit more condensed as well. So you wanna add that length, you wanna to work to slenderize your face shape, give that a visual illusion that there's more there. So for other earrings they do recommend um, is things like hoops are fine because they have that sort of that, that lengthening look to them, they would be good, dangles are good. Um, and like I mentioned before, geometric shapes. So happy to set up a private consult with anyone who would like to explore that just for themselves. Um, because I know sometimes you might have more questions I can help you out with. Now let's talk necklaces. So I'm actually wearing one that works for my face shape. My face shape is square. I have a very straight lines here and I have a very strong jaw shape. I'll come to that soon. Um, but both square and round people need things that are oval like that have length for the same reasons. Um, they also need V shapes are great for round people, not for square, but for round face shapes, V shapes are great. V shaped tops are great. Sometimes when a round face shape wears a high up round collar, it's just mimicking. And, and you kind of wonder why does that look so funky on me? That is why. <laughs> So I have some examples for you real quick. For the blingy blingy ladies, here's what I'll show you. This one has definitely been a superstar of our collection. We do have over 300 items, so it'll take you a little while maybe to shop through the catalog. Um, but this is definitely one I do recommend. And it's a slider necklace. Oh, I was going to see why I'm not pulling the right things here. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
So let me bring that up to you. And you're going to notice this has got a lot of beautiful sparkle. It is part of our Aurora Boreal crystal line. Let me bring that back just a little bit more so it comes into focus. Isn't that a wow piece? I love this thing. And you can see there's a little bit of a reflective rainbowy color to it. I'm going to show you another piece that you'll be able to see even better. But these are all Pave set set in crystals and i like that they're set in not just stuck into um you know claw setting type things where you know they're trying to hold it down it's actually set in there so it's nice and flush it doesn't snag anything which is great and wonderful um and also it's less likely to fall out we do have a lifetime warranty on all of our jewelry pieces which is amazing um and it is this um we have a 90 day window. If you aren't happy with your purchase because you're digital shopping, you say, hey, Mary, can I trade this for something else? I say, absolutely. And we trade it a lot like Amazon. You just tell me what you want. I email you, you click the links and you're off in the mail. It goes and you're good, you're set. So it's super simple to do that. And then after those 90 days, it's covered um, as well for life. So if anything happened, like you ran over it, <laughs> just let again reach out to me and it'll be just a small deductible to cover postage there and back and um between 15 to 25 25 is for most most expensive piece piece which is great i call it jewelry insurance so i wanted to bring this to your attention right up here you see that little bead there that is our slider bead and what that does is it allows you to create the length that you want it to hit at. When you first saw me, I was wearing it very short, but I can literally pull the bead out and wear it on a long length. And so usually when you're wearing higher necklines, like you're wearing Karen, um, you know, or boat necklines, things like that, it brings it down. And so it also is slenderizing because not only is it giving your waistline length, um, a V type of thing also gives a little bit more hip definition as well, because it's a visual uh, trick, for lack of a better word, that it is playing on the eyes. So that's some great tips for that. The other thing to know about our slider necklaces, if you hate working with clasps, these are for you. <laughs> if you have issues with fine motor skills or arthritis or anything, these are the best thing. I have a lot of daughters buying their moms, their older, more mature moms these kinds of necklaces because they don't have to worry about a clasp. They just throw it on and they feel pretty. So there you go. That's one. I want to show you one other that's kind of more of a wow piece. And I'm going to show you um, another one that's a little bit more simplified for those who have sort of a sm um, minimal, more minimal type of taste in jewelry. And this one shows just our pop of color that Swarovski Crystal is known and loved for. We've got our aqua, our aqua crystal in there. By the way, that's the March Burst Stone. And then sometimes it's hard to tell, but this is actually a dark, dark, almost midnight blue navy stone. It's called Montana Sapphire. So there's a little bit of color, but again, lengthening. It is a slider necklace as well. I think I said that already, sorry. Okay, my next one, this is becoming a big hit. Um, and I think it's a great middle of the road type of a piece. This is called On Edge. Again, wonderful for those round face shapes, heart face shapes, things like that to kind of add length. This is black diamond and a clear teardrop and then a little darker, darker gray right in the center there. I want to make note though of the chain. It's a really interesting, fun chain. It's not just your normal string it on a chain type of a necklace. It's got extra character to it and it adds a little more texture to the look. So especially if you're wearing just a solid, you know, black top like you are, Karen, that extra character to the chain adds so much more to the accessory and how you're top and how you were how you were looking. Um, it's got a different type of a slider as well. It is one of our ball sliders. Let me put my thumb there so it'll focus. There you go. You see that? So there is a clasp there. So you would just do the lobster claw clasp to get it around your neck. And then to adjust the length, all you do is pinch the ball and pull. 
And we have many, many, many necklaces that do this. These will go um, as short as 50, well, actually, well, as short as you want it, honestly, um, all the way down, dropping down to the 20 inch range, which I find a lot of women really like that 20 inch range, unless you've got that smaller, really small petite frame, then probably um, 16 to 17 is probably more of what you're enjoying and liking. Now I have to show you the cute matching earrings. <laughs> So if you're not like a huge, big earring kind of girl, these are the matching earrings. They're so cute and petite. And sometimes it's just more in someone's comfort zone. They have a lever back as well. So nothing to lose on the back. And the great thing about lever back earrings is that anyone tugged on it, you know, a kid or a dog or something, it will just release. It won't actually tear the ear hole. So, you know, because that's what we're all definitely afraid of, right? <laughs> All right, I will show you one more suggestion that's been getting more attention as well, because I do watch my sales and what people are enjoying and liking, a little market research. And this one is called the Myra Pendant. And so it is the rectangular geometric type of shape. So great, you know, it helps, um, helps give a little bit more definition to those rounder face shapes. And it's two-sided, so you've got Aurora Boreal, on one side, this side, and then I'm gonna flip it. And now it's your clear crystal. So this I think is a little more subtle than this side. So it depends on your mood. If you feel like extra sparkle, do the Royale. If you don't, flip it over. And this is a long necklace as well. And so let me just throw that on. And so for more, the women who like more of a modern look, this is fantastic, perfect for them because geometric shapes are still quite hot in the jewelry world these days. Okay, a bracelet suggestion for this particular set that I just showed you would be the Beautiful You bracelet. Typically women who pick that particular necklace and those earrings like cleaner lines, um, not so in your face, um, just something delicate with a little femininity to it. Um, and they tend to like straighter lines too. There you go, okay. The next one I'm going to jump, jump into is the square face. But before I do that, I have to share a joke with you because it's kind of my thing now. Because you know we all need to laugh <laughs> these days. So you can unmute yourself if you wanna guess. <laughs> so here's my joke. What's the difference between black eyed peas and chickpeas? No clue. <laughs> I have no clue. And that sounds like uh, something of a Southern joke. <laughs> Let me give you the punchline. Black eyed peas can sing us a song. Chickpeas oh. can hum us. <laughs> that is becoming one of the things I'm known for these days is cheesy bad jokes. <laughs> so, but life is too short not to laugh. That's my philosophy. <laughs> so. All right, we're going to dive into the next category of square face shapes. So any guesses what might be best for a square face shape? I kind of gave some of it away, didn't I? Round, yes, Mary, you're giving me the signal. Yes, round, definitely an oval oblong. All of those things can soften up that sharp jawline that we've got. <laughs> I find that if I add a little bit of weight, then I soften it up, but I'd rather not do it that way. <laughs> So, okay, so here's some quick examples that just always seem to be front, front runners in our jewelry line. Um, I've got them both sitting on here. Let me take it off. So this one up here, this one, the first one here is our Montana Sapphire Crystal. The necklace is called Three Cheers. So there you go. It's already a cheerful necklace. So, you know, and when we see jewelry, um, a lot of, you know, our natural instinct is, is to go, ooh, or you know, just react to the sparkle and the beauty of it. And I feel like that's just a little dose of endorphins. Um, it also has two little ones on the side. We have the pave set crystals on the right side, and then we've just got a cute little solitaire on the other. And then I think the little balls in the center add a little bit more playfulness to it. Um, a little, I think it's more interesting than just having it sit on the chain. And I do like to note this chain is one of my favorite chains because it is that 
woven um, braided silky soft rounded one um, I just love how it feels it doesn't you know if anyone has um, skin or sensitivities meaning sensory sensitivities this is probably going to be one of their favorite chains my son has autism so I'm always clued into those things, <laughs> sensory level type things so love that one it also comes in red and there's one called three wishes with a pink stone so if you're a pink girl that might be your necklace all right, our newest release is the Get Together Necklace. Love this one. It doesn't come in red. I'm sorry, Karen. <laughs> but this one is actually featuring two of our new crystal colors. This is called our Iris Necklace. And look at the detail going all the way up there. Oh, I love, Swarovski is known for detail. And so of course touchstone is too. And then we've got our amethyst ignite on the right side. And then this is a Swarovski pearl. Swarovski pearls are actually well known and quite famous because they have Swarovski crystals inside of them. And that makes it a pearl that lasts a lot longer. It doesn't chip, it doesn't fade, it doesn't you know, lose its luster. Um, and so they just last forever. A lot of high-end de designers use these. Our joke out here on the West Coast is they're vegan friendly. <laughs> No oysters were harmed. So there you go. <laughs> so Mary, I have a quick question for you. You're showing that amethyst and is that one of the hot colors for, for this fall? Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, jewel tones, but particularly the purples are huge as well as I'm seeing a lot of pops of emerald greens. Um, so if you love emerald greens and purples um, and even reds, I'm seeing that kind of coming in and the bright hot pinks. I'm also seeing that too. Yeah, a lot of color pop is it's what's coming in. So don't worry if you're a neutral girl, you're still good. There's still a lot of neutrals out there. So you, you don't have to toss your entire closet. In fact, I'm gonna do a little uh, three-day event in my VIP group on what to get rid of in your closet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That'll be fun. All right, so now for those who want a little bit more subdued, circle uh sparkle this is called center stage and i wanted to show you a gold sampling of our line this does come in silver so if you're freaking out because you love it but you want it in silver we got you covered and a thing to note about our jewelry line is there's no lead no nickel no cadmium used ever that's it's horribly toxic <laughs> please don't wear it that's my psa announcement for you <laughs> We use, um, we use pal um, palladium and rhodium. Um, those are both forms of platinum, as well as we have a sterling silver line. It's called their Little Black Dress Collection. I will show you um, some cute earrings from that. And that actually features our pure brilliant Swarovski zirconia, which is the best of the best. Not that you don't get the highest grade of Swarovski here, you do. <laughs> but we also have that other crystal. Actually, it was, here's an example. It was this one. Um, this is the Pure Brilliance Swarovski Zirconia, and it is designed specifically to look like diamonds. So if you're a diamond girl, go to that section. You could literally wear anything in that section 24 seven showering or whatever, because it's sterling silver or 14 karat gold. All right. I've got one more to show, show you with a layer piece, Karen, just for you. <laughs> awesome. I do cater. I kind of call myself your jewelry DJ because I take requests. <laughs> this is called the captured necklace. It, it, give my camera a minute to focus. There you go. You can see it's a pearl. It's a single pearl. But what I love to show, let me pull it off my stand, is that it is encircled with a single strand of Pave Swarovski crystals. So I'm turn that to the side. Here you go. Oh, pretty. Isn't that beautiful? I love, I mean, pearls are timeless and classic. They're wonderful. They're fantastic for gift giving because they look great on everybody. Um, but I love that little touch of class and elegance that those crystals bring to it, bring to the look. And it's not just your average pearl pendant, you know, it's up a notch. Let me show you the cute earrings that go with it too. I think these are adorable. You could totally wear these all on, all on their own. So sweet. Okay. 
Well, you're giving us lots of good ideas of things so we can not only for ourselves, but for gift giving. Absolutely. That was my, my thing was to suggest things and also for gift giving too. Sets are wonderful. Um, earrings and bracelets or earrings and necklaces are great sets. Um, also a lot of women like to, um, give just like one or two bracelets as gifts. And I have some to show you here. This is called the gather necklace. And I have to say, when I poll my people at the very end, you know, what was your favorite piece you saw? This one gets a lot of votes. I love this. So you can see there's a, there's about an inch of pearl here, right there. And then let me bring this up a little bit higher on my hand. Let my camera focus. Here we go. It just has to think sometimes. This is actually a strand of Aurora Boreal beads. And so it's very like a chain look, but it adds a little more interest. So it's not just a plain chain because that's just, you know, it's not, you know, usually if people are wearing chains, they're either layering them or it's got, it's a chain with something interesting on it. Um, we aren't really seeing just flat, long chains right now, unless they're with something. So I'm gonna put that on. Again, it's a great lengthening piece. It's super light, doesn't have a lot of neck weight because I know a lot of women are concerned about that. Um, and I think it's great all on its own. It's beautiful, doubled up, it's beautiful. And you can do kind of a high low look, but I love it for framing. Cause I think it takes a necklace, even just a small pendant, it takes it up a notch adds a little more interest and it brings more life to your top. If your top is a solid plain top, you kind of need to add to it um, because, you know, who wants to be invisible, right? <laughs> well, Mary, as you're talking too, you know, one of the things that I'm thinking about is as we, uh, a lot of us are having to wear masks, um, uh, those jewelry, our jewelry can make a statement because they can't always see our smile. No, you're right. You know, to, to jazz these things up that we, we do have, have control over that is you know, a wonderful is our yes. our wonderful point wonderful point <laughs> thank you Karen yeah um you know and I think it was Marcel a long time ago she talked about you know we need um more uh I forget what she termed it but the more we have like like a design pattern or jewelry or things like that, the more less starchy, you know, we look to people. And so we're more approachable. And so particularly for business women, oh. I really think it's important that you have some accessorizing, um, some accessories, some jewelry, a scarf adds bonus points. I remember, I, I remember that. So Marcel, if you were watching this. <laughs> That stuck with me, but I, you know, it just takes something, it just makes you more human, more approachable, more warm. All right, last face shape I'm gonna talk about. I could talk about at least three others, but I'm gonna not do that. <laughs> so the last face shape that I'm gonna talk about is the uh, is the oval face shape. So now most uh, oval face shapes are pretty common and uh, they're pretty easy to work with. Um, the only thing they really do need to avoid is dang dangly earrings, straight dangly earrings, because it just, you know, your face is already lengthened. When you wear something that mimics it, it just makes it look even longer. So <laughs> you kind of want to stay away from that kind of a, of a design. So anything like dangles um, are, no, sorry, I'm going backwards. Rounder, sorry. <laughs> Most shapes will work with an oval face. I'm just going to read from my notes. Um, dangles and triangles. Triangles are good because they actually widen your face. Hoops are good. They widen your face. So anything that's going to give you a little bit more this way versus bringing you out even farther. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that made sense, even though I was stumbling on my, my tongue. So I'm going to give you some quick examples. Um, here is one of our more wow pieces. This is one of our gorgeous pieces on edge. And it, this is the antique brass. I wanted to show you that we've got other metal colors and other stone colors, a lot of topaz. But what I love about this particular piece, and it does come in silver with black and clear stones for all you silver lovers, um, is take a look at that. Look at the chain. It's actually a basket weave chain. I think, again, it adds more character. And then it goes up into a square chain. It's a box chain. So as you move it and, and touch it and feel it, it's got a little bit of an edge. It's not like a sharp edge or anything, but I love 
how interesting it, you know, it just adds more character to the piece. And so that's a great one to help give you a little bit more edge to that rounded face or oval face. And then these are cute earrings that you can put with it as well. Lever backs, super fun and cute. Okay. I'm going to show you a teeny piece. So we do have a, so we have a couple comments here as oh. we go too. So yeah. I should, so um, one of the Marys is saying that they're pretty sparkly and what metals are selling best? Is it rose gold or, or is that a past trend? Um, I'm not seeing as much rose gold. So that was a really great question. Uh, those who do like rose gold, Mary, tend to be the millennials. That's still a draw for them. Um, but they also like gold. So they seem to like metals with color to them, um, but they're very minimal. They like very teeny minimal type of minimalist jewelry is what they, they seem to go after. Yeah. So there you go. Okay. Um, that was called the Read Your Mind Necklace and the Spec Earrings. These are perfect gifts right here. Ooh. They are so cute. They're very small and petite, not very big, super light, and they come in navy blue. I think this is one of the top giving gifts that we're seeing going on. I Almost every party I do, someone's buying these earrings. So I, I think they're a fantastic gift. Okay, um, I would pair it with this beautiful July birthstone bracelet. In fact, ladies, our entire birthstone collection is perfect for gifts. Let me tell you, everything there is $42 and less. And so it is gorgeous. I'll show you a necklace here in just a quick sec. All right, we're gonna dive into Karen's favorite layers. Are you ready? Yes. One more quick joke for you. <laughs> what do you call a bunch of sheep falling down a hill? What you call a bunch of sheep falling down a hill? Yeah. A lamb slide. Oh. <laughs> I, know. I, know. I know. Half the people want to roll their eyes when I share that one and the other ones are laughing. I just, yeah. I just, I just live to kind of get the smile on the face. All right. I am going to not tackle everything I was going to just for the sake of time, but um, this is the one that more wonderful uh, was going nuts over and loves. This is called our Chanel. Oh, good. I'm glad I'm cracking you up. <laughs> I just think we all need a little bit of joy. See, we, my spelling of my name, we all need a little Mary in our life, right? <laughs> all right. So this is called the Chanel inspired by Chanel. It's a 36 incher. This is the one that I say is the throw on and go piece. Like you just pop this thing over your head, no clefts, no slider, out the door. <laughs> so, and we have it in extra long with um, crystals that are half this size. That one has been a huge favorite, especially women, um, business women I've noticed. I think it's a little less sparkly if you don't wanna be sparkly like this. So I'll show you that real quick. But what I love about these is they do different looks. We've got necklace converters, I think every jewelry box needs one of these and one of these. <laughs> They're timeless. It never goes out of style. And it's definitely something you would pass down, to be honest. You would pass it down to your daughters. Okay, so I'm going to flip this around. The magic of video here flipped around. I'm going to show you what you can do with this. You can double it up really easily. Again, there's no weird clasp. Bring it around, snap it in the back. Now you've got a high necklace, which you can see is perfect for a V-neck type of thing. So when you're Zooming, um, you know, meeting clients and things like that, it's great to just pop it on there. And you can even give a little bit of a pull and create some length there if you want more, a little bit more space. A lot of women like to turn it to the side because it has crystals all the way around it. And look at, now you've got a little bit more of an asymmetrical look and no one would know that that was actually holding your necklace together. <laughs> So if you like a little modern twist, last but not least, I'll show you one more thing. You can actually twist these up and combine up to three Chanel's all together to make a wow necklace. I think of Danielle, you know, that would be a wow. Yeah, twisting three and putting those around her neck would be amazing. And so then you can get sort of this more elegant twisted look. And I found that this twisted style looks good with almost any neckline you've got. Mm. Works really well. Yeah, even crew necks and things like that, which we're wearing a lot more of the, you know, <laughs> higher necklines. 
Okay, here is the other one for layering long layers. This is the extra long mini Chanel. Actually, I shouldn't have put that away. Let me show a side-by-side -side comparison. The crystals are about half the size. But what women love about this is it's an instant layer piece and it has a little bit more length to it. And because the crystals are smaller, it's a little bit more refined, a little bit more sophisticated and classy. You can elect to do what I call the high low and have you know a big space in there. I think of Jennifer Lopez, Lady Gaga, you know, they kind of like that spacing. And then sometimes they put a bunch of pendants in here. Um, or you can even take this bottom one, wrap it up like that, and create like a two in one type of a look with that necklace. That's super cute. Not fun. Yeah. So oh my gosh, that looks darling. Yeah. There's at least three yeah. other ways that I could show you, but I'm not going to do that tonight. <laughs> but if you would like me to show you on Zoom, I'm more than happy to do that. Yes. Okay. So Mary, what if a woman doesn't really know her face shape? I mean, because I, I looked at it and I thought, okay, is my face round or is it square? Right. Yeah. No. <laughs> no? Yeah. You don't have a super... I mean, our chins are similar, um, but I noticed that at, up here, it comes up a little bit more and is a little bit more rounded. So I would, if you, could you pull your hair back just a little bit? Um, woo. Woo -hoo. Ooh, sexy. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Ooh, sorry, we're not doing that tonight. Um, anyways, <laughs> yeah, I would say, um, Probably more of an uh, more of an oval oval ish. I think you really could bounce between that and a square, though. No, no oval. You do go in a little bit more at the top. Mm -hmm. I do. Yes, but I noticed that I tend to wear long earrings. Though that is by far my favorite to give. Yeah, me it is. You like it. it's not to say don't ever wear those, but if it looks odd, that could be why. Okay. <laughs> but I have noticed, Karen, that you don't usually wear just the straight dangle. Usually it's got a shape to it or width to it or roundness to it or mm -hmm. at least from what I've seen. I, I mean, you could be wearing other things, but <laughs> from what I've yeah. seen. <laughs> yeah. Although when you smile, your cheeks go out. I almost I don't know, I have to I think on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready for some gift ideas? Yes. Well, additional gift ideas. I guess that's really what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, these are the hot ones. These are like, cause they're totally on trend and women are buying them as gifts. So these are our joined together necklace line. It's a, uh, it's a silver and a gold. So there's the silver and the gold. They're separate just, but I wanna show you both metal colors. The uniqueness about these is they have five crystal coated links in them. It, I think it adds, so it's such a nice little touch to it. It's more than just a link chain necklace. Bring those up and show those to you. Let it focus for a sec. There we go. You see those in there? Those are pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, this one is the wow fat. Every they're just ooing and aahing over. <laughs> Every time I hold this up, they're like, ooh, ah. Uh. So I definitely think if you were shopping for someone, especially, um, well, actually, I haven't seen any age group that isn't liking this. I think all, all age groups are liking it. These are the gold ones, but these are the matching earrings. You have a minute to focus with the crystal coated link at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm just going to plow through. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, hot Christmas gift items. Birthstone Pave set ball. This is April. They're lucky they get diamonds, but you can give it to anyone who doesn't have an April birthday. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, that is probably one of the one of the most purchased items we've got for gifts. It's $42, not too bad. Here's our yin and our yang right there. And for pairing with that, with the Burstown Pave Ball, I would go with something like our Monte Carlo studs, which are sterling silver. 
something little if you know they like little things or we would also pair the millionaire club earrings with it as well as long as it's a crystal sparkle clear you're good to go for hoops i would do something like the all around hoops which are like that these are just half inch hoops I'm trying to get that to focus I just noticed the color of this box is like not our normal color. There we go. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Here you are. Okay. I would pair that for a bracelet. I would put it with our April birthstone bracelet. Well, lots of sparkle, Mary. That looks really yes. great. Yeah. So we just have a couple minutes as we wrap okay. up. Oh, yes. Sorry. We've gone over. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry, well, it's so fun to talk about sparkle that you could talk about sparkle all night. <laughs> Shooting star, pearl array, the daisy. You know, what is interesting is that you have catalogs and stuff, but it just, it, it just it doesn't do it justice sometimes I know. because it, it is so much more beautiful in person. Yeah. So I definitely it, in sure person is best, but Zoom is a good second. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I kind of yeah. call Zoom in person now. <laughs> I know, right? I kind of do too. I feel like I know so many women on the East Coast now. <laughs> yeah, so what would you like to wrap up with there? I would love to wrap up just with your bracelets real quick. Uh, the wrap star wraps are on sale. Uh, they're actually 23 to 32% off this month. Uh, that's our second best seller right there. Soft as butter, light, you'll forget you're wearing it. It is a computer person's dream bracelet. <laughs> this I can have that in another color, but what is that called again? Uh, the wrap star wrap. Star wrap. Um, as well as this is our ice bracelet. It is our number one hands down um, item. We're known for these. We like to call them the potato chip bracelets because they're kind of addicting, but um, oh. they were featured in Oprah's magazines in 2018. Uh, we didn't even know it. They just discovered us. So made a big splash. Yeah. And last but not least is that stretch bracelet I was showing you, the birthstone bracelet. These are, these do not snag anything, anything. No pokey prongs. All right, so here is the thing. I've offered a special to all you fave ladies. And so not only are our wraps all on sale all month long, which is fantastic, but when, if you decide that you would like to get a couple of them or other things, when your um, subtotal gets to 100, so 50 and 50, you've already saved $48. It's like you've already saved the price of one of them on sale. You actually get to add another one at 50%, another, anything of your choice at 50% off the full retail price. So you can slip on our iconic ice bracelets and get that for 44.50 instead of 89. And so then you've saved a total of, I don't know, 90 something dollars. <laughs> I'm not always a numbers person. And yeah. how long does that special go on? Uh, the special is through, well, the buy a hundred subtotal, 50% off another additional item is always, always ongoing. Um, this month, the wrap is only to through this month. That's it. For fave lifestyle members, though, it is um, with a, a order of 100 or more, your shipping is on me. Take care of that for you. Yep. Love it. So reach out to me if you want to take advantage of that. Okay, there you are, ladies. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you, Mary, for showing yeah. us all the beautiful sparkle and um, um, oh my gosh, and some great gift ideas. So especially with the holidays coming on just around the corner. So, okay, I'm going to stop.